Today we're going to look at Jamison Williams. And even though he tore his ACL, still said he's coming out based off the last reports I've seen. Uh, great receiver, ton of speed. We're going to look at um, some footage versus um, Texas A&M, which they lost. And then a couple other plays versus a few other teams. And i just show you, you know, what he got. Roll the footage. All right, let's look at this first first um video. This first clip, rather. And keep in mind, we all know from the jump, this kid is super, super fast. So with a kid being this fast, you're gonna you're gonna get these looks all the time because you have deep speed. You should be able to, to make these adjustments or, or catch these in your sleep. And actually it's the next play. I ain't go far enough in my in my advance. Here it is. This is him right here. This is this is our guy. Right there. Because and because he's so fast, look at the cushion he's giving him. That's six that's about eight yards. Look at the cushion. And they're in a condensed formation. But he should be able to get these in his sleep because he's so fast. Easy. That's that's too easy, but you gotta respect the speed. You gotta respect the speed, and he's way back here. Even though he's looking at the quarterback, he still got out of there in his back pedal. Watch the DB. He still got out of there in the back pedal. Gonna back straight up because he know he can run. So that just break it off. That's simple. And he had so he had so much cushion that he could get a first down off a four yard out, because you gotta respect the speed. You gotta respect the speed at all times. All right, on his next play, he's down here at the bottom, and just his ability to get open. And, and even though he dropped this, but just look at the cushion and separation he gets. But not the cushion, the separation he gets from from number seven down here. This is a drop. He should have caught it, but still, it's not one of those concentration drops. It was a You'll see it. Let's let, let it play. Got bagging off, giving him a cushion. So before the ball snap, he's bagged up to about five, maybe five and a half yards. Six, seven, he's pushing eight yards. And that's because you got to respect the speed. And he and nobody's over here with this guy. So it, it's, let me see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means, hey, it's you and me. And you know this guy's a burner. Close that cushion. And because you got to respect the speed, he breaks off this little uh, slant. And and he's really wide open. He's really wide open at that point because you still, you got to respect the speed. So that means he's not just, well, that doesn't mean that, but this is an example of him showing you that he does not just have to be a straight line goal guy. Because he can be a straight line goal guy and you have to give him that cushion. If you don't have that type of speed, he can do other stuff to get open. Now, would this have been a great catch? Yes. But he didn't catch it. You know, in that last play, I forgot to mention how he makes his cuts really without slowing down. That's that's one reason that makes him such a good receiver. He can get in and out of breaks. Well, I'm going to say he can cut without slowing down, and he can get in and out of breaks really doggone quick. He's at the top of your screen here. All the way here at the top. Now, this is this is one thing I question about him. You see the guy kind of, kind of not dog him out, but kind of you know put hands on him a little bit. How physical is he? You get a guy up here in your face that's probably stronger than you. What 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 do you have in your toolbox to get him off of you and still be able to run your route in a timely manner and be where you're supposed to be when the quarterback wants you there? Oh, went too far. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I didn't download it. That's why I was acting like that. All right. So I know what's going on. That foot fight badly worked. Guy gave him the inside. Now he's putting hands on him. 
What 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 are you going to do to stop this obviously stronger guy from getting you off your route? He tries to slap his arm by, and that's a good job right here. I don't know if you can see it, but he's taking that left hand and and kind of swim moving, kind of like a D tackle to get off him. But his route still has to go to this inside. The route still is taking him inside, and this guy's in great position right now. If this was a fade, he would not be in great position. But because this route is coming in here, coming in here, he's in great position. If this was some kind of fade ball, he'd be good because his back's turned and he had to flip his hips and try to get over top. You just pull him down. How physical is he is my question. All right, this next play right here is in the slot. So you've seen him outside, now you see him in the slot. Can he work the middle of the field? That's the next progression. Can he work in, in between these hashes? Is he is he confident enough to get up and, and go get balls between these hashes? Does he have a heart to work the hashes? Guy works out, and if Bryce was looking, the ball should be on him right now for a touchdown, but he's not. Throttles down. Goes up the ladder. Goes up the ladder and gets that. I'm going to see if we can get a back view to see how pretty of a catch that is. And takes the contact. And takes the contact. Let's watch it from this view to see how how pretty of a catch that is. Little guys that go up and get the ball with their hands. See, had he been the number one read, he would have got that ball right now. But you see Bryce's eyes looking that way. And probably knowing he want to come back to him. I think he was the third read. But look at that. That's how you go up and get the ball. And it's a contested catch. I didn't realize that at first. And it's a contested catch. And he's going to take a lick from this dude. I questioned his, his, his physicalness earlier. I definitely don't question his toughness after that. I don't question his toughness. Really don't. Now, we, we've seen uh, if he's physical or not. We've seen him run quick outs. People respecting his speed. We've seen him get separation on a like a quick route where you really don't have too many cuts where you really just stick your foot in the ground and go. Now, let's see if he can run some routes. Down here at the bottom of your screen down here. This is him right here. Got kind of one-on-one -on -one situation with number seven again. Thudder, whoop, sluggo. Ran right past him. Good footwork. Great footwork. Let's back it up and watch it again. Close the cushion. And like I'm running a little skinny post. When he bite on it, accelerate. Stick it in. He got to jump in there to defend it because he know he on an island by himself. Mm. And that, that took one step. One step, he didn't have to chop his feet and give it away. He didn't have to chop his feet and give it away. One. That one hard jab right there with that right foot, gone. Gone. Now with having a guy that fast that you really have to respect, like you, you just can't, you get these routes. I'll make sure I got the right play. I think I got the right one. You got a little bubble. And, you know, you get him in situations where it's two over three, and he can obviously make moves. Simple throw. Get it to your athlete and let him work. This is a run. To me, this is a running play. Got the two tight ends out there blocking. Got a guy that can fly. To me, this is a running play. You got a, 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 a technically a zero-yard throw that's turned into a first down. Line of scrimmage is a 48. So this is a negative two yards. Let me see. One, two, a negative three-yard throw. That is turned into at least 10 yards there. Maybe even another five. Now, can he can he run after the catch? Can he run after the catch? 
What does he do after he catches the ball in space? There he is at the top of your screen again. Outside, he play outside and in. Play tight to the line of scrimmage. A guy you can put at multiple positions. Now, you know, no real route running to that because this flat guy, this flat guy makes him come up and he just bend it right behind him. Now, now what do you do at this point? You pretty much, you got one, two, three, four, five guys kind of in pursuit of you. And there's one of you, no blockers or nothing. What you going to do with these five guys? Damn, let's go on. Damn, let's go on. That's what you're going to do with it. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. But when he caught this ball, he was pretty much surrounded by five people. And realistically, these two, realistically, this dude don't stand a chance, realistically, because he's going away from it. So let's just say four. Now, definitely you got three. Stiff on, slapped him in the mouth. And he finally get him down later. Now, I really, 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 really hate it putting this on here. But it needs to be seen because I need you to see how fast this kid is. If I'm not mistaken, this is him right here. And the reason why I said I really, really didn't want to put it on there because I like the Hurricanes. And this is against Miami. So, that, just watch just watch the the blur right here. Works between traffic. Obviously, it's man, man coverage right now. He should know that. Obviously, it's man coverage because that guy went with him with all that stuff going on behind him. He just runs to the middle, and now he's just going to run. Now, watch him run away from this guy. Just watch. At at the 15-yard line there, he's maybe one yard behind him. Maybe. At the 30-yard line, he's five yards behind him. At the 40, he catches up a little bit with a 45. Now watch this. So let's say that's a two-yard cushion because you got to look at length and width. It ain't two yards no more. It's at least six. The guy is lightning fast. I don't know if he's Waddle or Ruggs fast, but the kid is lightning fast. Now I don't know how coming off this injury is going to happen or hurt him either. Hopefully he fully recovers and goes on to have a good career. But if he can get back to this form, dangerous. Dangerous. Again, on that last clip, we talked about speed. This is versus Georgia now in the SEC Championship. Not the National Championship, the SEC Championship. Up there in that bunch. This is him right here. Now, the route, he gets open easy because of the concept and because of Georgia defense. But I want you to see how fast he is in compared to running away from this cat once he catches that ball. Bam. Now, has the opportunity to have a great angle. You looking, but no chance. No chance for you either. No chance for you. You're the only cat that can get him. Watch how he destroys this angle. No chance. You... That's game-changing speed, people. Game-changing speed. If he can get open on something quick and got the ability to catch it and see where everybody at before they hit him, that's game-changing speed. All right, we're going to close it out with this one right here. This is uh, Williams at the bottom of your screen. Stop and go. Hitch and go, stutter and go, whatever you want to call it. He's going to work inside of this dude and get up to probably to right around the 45, and he's going to stutter. The stutter is going to freeze the corner and the safety. And then that speed come back out again. You, no matter how many clips we show, that speed going to show at some point. Watch. Got inside of him. Now, it's a safe over. The safety is here. Waiting to see what happens. If he break in, he's going to come off. Or if he maybe corner. If he try to run the corner, he's in good position, you know, on the outside. Boom. That stutter right there. Got him flat footed. And he all off balance. He off balance too now. But he, look, he back in his track. I don't know if you can see it. That's his arm. That's his arm. Back on his track right now. Boom. Over top. Game changing speed, man. Game changing speed. Hey, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This is Jameson Williams. Um, 
wide receiver from Alabama. If uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys for coming through. And um, hey, we're gonna keep these draft videos rolling, rolling, rolling. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Coach Evans with Sit the Tatter Films. Peace. With the, 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 with